My name is Allison Kaplan. I'm the Director of Education here at the National First Ladies Library. This year we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment. The 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote. And I bet you kids at home are thinking, wait a second, women didn't have the right to vote? Yup, women have only had the right to vote for 100 years. And back in the 19th century, women called suffragists, who dressed kind of like I look today in sashes, spoke up, giving speeches, traveling the country, trying to convince people that women should have voting rights too. And one of the most famous women was named Susan B. Anthony. Susan B. Anthony carried an alligator purse and there's even a rhyme about her. So what did she carry in her purse? Well, she carried her speeches, and she was also arrested for voting before women had voting rights. So many times she would include that information in her purse so she could tell people about that experience. Would you like to hear the rhyme that was created with her in it? Here it is. Grab your jump rope, get ready, and see if you can learn it and follow at home. Miss Lulu had a baby. She called him Tiny Tim. She put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. He tried to swallow the bathtub, but it wouldn't go down his throat. Call for the doctor. Call for the nurse called for the lady with the alligator purse. Mump said the doctor, measles said the nurse. Vote said the lady with the alligator purse. So that's the rhyme. See if you can learn it and maybe you can practice it with your jump rope and get some physical activity. You can see that I'm dressed up today as a suffragist so suffragists fought for women to get voting rights. Here is a rosette, so you can dress like a suffrage too, suffragist too. And if you want to make your own vote rosette button with me today, we can show you how. So purple and yellow were the colors for the suffragists in America. There were different colors for suffragists in other countries. And what we're gonna do, you're gonna cut some short strips and long strips. You can use any kind of paper you want. Find some scrap paper around your house. You can do whatever color you would like. So all you need is a stapler. And I'm taking these short little strips and I am going to staple them to look like these rosette pieces. So I'm going to fold them like this and then carefully staple them. And as I get them together, I'm gonna staple them together. Be really careful that you don't staple your fingers while you're doing this because that could really hurt. So we're gonna keep stapling. If you don't have a stapler, Glue can work, or glue dots if you have them around, or you can work with your mom or dad or whoever's at home um, if you have a hot glue gun. So we're going to keep stapling these pieces together. And you can really do as many as you want. You can see for this one, I made a cross like this, and then I'll add about one or two more on each side. So once you have this finished and you've added all your pieces, just like so, it looks like I'm ready to add the longer strips. So I'm going to take pieces that are longer, like this, and I'm going to use them to make my badge, which is kind of almost like an award, right? It looks like a ribbon, like you won something really cool, like the science.
can't spare. Or maybe it's a bow for a present. You could even create something like that. So I'm going to add my long strips like this. And if you want, you can even trim the ends however you'd like. I like to make them look fancy like this. And you can add longer short pieces to the bottom. Say you want to include some yellow. I'm gonna cut little triangles and add some yellow here. There we go. And the very last stop, step is to add a circle. And on that circle, you can put whatever kind of slogan, if you want to say votes for women, if you want to say, here I wrote, wash your hands. So if there's something really important you want to tell people, you can. I used a yogurt jar to draw my circle, because I'm not that good at drawing circles. And then I cut my circle out, just like this. And you can use crayons, markers, if you have glitter glue at home, you can get crazy with the glitter glue. Any kinds of things you want to add to your rosettes. So these were some of the ways that suffragists told people and campaigned for voting rights. So they would tell people, votes for women, and they would have their slogan on the rosette and they would wear it just like so. So here is my suffrage rosette. If you make one at home, be sure to reach out to us through social media and share it with us because we would love to see them. So I am going to go wear my rosette proudly and march around the living room. Thanks for joining me.